Welcome Star Wars fans to the Hyperspace Database. Jonesy, your Mandalorian here with today's topic. The K-79 Troop Transport. The K-79S-80 Imperial Troop Transport, or Recon Troop Transport, was an Imperial repulsor lift vehicle that was developed by Ubrickian Industries during the Galactic Civil War against the Rebel Alliance. The ITT was an armored troop transport used by the Galactic Empire, and was one of the main ground assault vehicles in the Imperial Army that could also double as a cargo transport, as it was often loaded up with up to 55 tons of cargo on its exterior panels, or in its interior cargo area. It was not designed to be a tank, though it did possess laser guns and a laser turret for defense when it was transporting goods and personnel, which deterred most would-be attackers. It was mainly a ground transport, and often ferried troops between bases in times of battle, or could carry prisoners on its exterior panels, and these prisoners would often be made to wear prisoner immobilization units, which blocked out all extrasensory input, basically making the prisoner blind and deaf to their surroundings. The ITT makes several appearances in Star Wars media, and a toy was developed in 1979, but interestingly it does not appear in any of the movies, making it the first Star Wars toy released that did not first appear in one of the films. It shows up in the Rebels TV show several times as the Spectres pull off jobs against the Empire, from loading up supplies and other cargo in the infamous May Lu run job, to infiltrating an Imperial Academy and escaping with new Rebel recruits, the ITT was used in many different missions. Several of them were dispatched to force local Lothal farmers to evacuate their farm, and the reluctant farmers were then arrested and sent to a detention center, but they were rescued by the timely arrival of Ezra and Zeb in a surprise attack from a stolen TIE fighter. It was seen amongst many other Imperial units in a ceremonial parade on Lothal during Empire Day and was involved in several skirmishes against the Rebels prior to the Battle of Yavin. At least one of these ITTs is credited as making an appearance at the Battle of Jakku, five years after Yavin, at the decisive last stand of the Empire. But the more popular appearance of the transport comes in the first season of the Mandalorian TV show, when Mando and the crew are ambushed by Moff Gideon's forces and pinned down by the arrival of more troops, courtesy of an arriving ITT, which deploys a squad of stormtroopers to reinforce the elite death troopers that were already on scene. The ITT makes several appearances in Legends material as well, though the stats for this version are quite a bit different, as the transport is significantly smaller and can't hold nearly as much cargo. This ITT served as a transport vessel, and was used in search and destroy missions on several worlds, including Tatooine after the Death Star plans were stolen, where they hunted down the band of Jawas that sold R2-D2 and C-3PO and interrogated them. And after getting the information they needed, they slaughtered the Jawas and destroyed their Sandcrawler. Interestingly, the original toy model for the ITT is significantly shorter than later models, though later toys that were developed were corrected to more accurately portray what the transport looks like in Rebels and the Mandalorian. The K-79-S-80 Imperial Troop Transport was popular on Imperial-held planets as a troop transport and cargo vessel, and was a fine addition to local garrisons that needed a craft to fill the transport role while still being armed and armored enough to withstand attacks from local resistance and the growing threat of the Rebel Alliance. Want to know more about great Star Wars topics like this one? Be sure to check out my other videos on my channel, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to be notified every time I publish something new. Be sure to select all notifications to never miss out on anything that I post. Be sure to chat with me in the comments too because I really want to talk to you. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one.